Hi guys, welcome to another video by New Tech Tricks TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the latest version of Eclipse IDE on your MacBook. So I'm on Google.com. Now I will search for Eclipse IDE Mac. Now I'll go to the first link. So it is saying that a new package is available. You can click here on this link. So now I'm on the download page. This is the URL eclipse.org slash download slash packages. Now here it is showing me Eclipse ID for Java developers, Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. So this is the first one is for only for developing like um, desktop applications and uh, the second one is for developing websites as well so I will go with the second version and here you can see it gives me the option for Mac OS I'll click on this link x86-64 um, uh, now I can click on the download button and the download will start as you can see the download has started of the dmg file so dmg is similar to kind of a exe file the same exe file which we have in windows in apple in macbook we generally use a dmg file so it will take some time for the download to finish I will come back when the download is finished so as you can see the download has got completed now I'm going to double click on this to start the installation process now the installation has got completed now I need to drag this uh, Eclipse icon to the applications folder and it will be copied to my applications it will take some time now I can close this uh, window and if I do uh, press F4 to see all the applications then I will see Eclipse over here and uh, I can drag and drop to my dock as well to create a shortcut and I can click on this and uh, the Eclipse should start So it is giving a warning like Eclipse is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open? Yes, I will open this. So we are using Eclipse 2021-03. Now it is asking to select the workspace like where you want to store your projects I'll keep it as default and um, put a tick over here use this as the default and do not ask again like whenever I open Eclipse it will not ask for the default workspace and click on the launch button now it is a starting Eclipse IDE so yeah the Eclipse ID has already started. You can close this and now you can start working with Eclipse. So that's how you install Eclipse on your MacBook. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more such videos.